What's up, everybody? It's Alex from Heavy New York. We are on the tour bus outside Kingsland, and today we are here with Morton of Sirenia. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Huh? Yeah, it's great to be here. Last night of the tour, and I'd imagine you're all pretty exhausted. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it's been quite quite a long tour. We've been on the road now for about one month, and uh, it's been a lot of shows and a lot of traveling and a lot of work. So I think we're all pretty much exhausted at this point so yeah <laughs> we're looking forward to to the show tonight and also it will be good to have a few days of rest after this and then we'll start working yeah in the studio again so uh, you just brought up my next point because dim days of the lore is now two years old so i'd imagine that like you're already planning for the next record right yeah it's um not sure exa it's a little bit more than one year i think or was it november november no yeah. 11th 2016 i think yeah, yeah. So yeah, we have the the new album uh, scheduled for twenty sixth of October this year. So um, yeah, it, it's almost two two years in between the the two albums. As in, it normally normally is with the Serenia album. It seems that it's the kind of time we need, you know, to to have time to to write all the songs and take care of the recordings and everything and. Only this time has been extra busy because the last year and a half we've been touring a lot more than we normally yeah, you're on normally the did. Too. So yeah, we had some festivals and a lot of projects in the works. So it's it's busy times. So yeah. yeah. Now um, I know that this was the first record that featured. Um, I, I keep forgetting how to pronounce her name. Emmanuel on vocals. Yeah. Yeah. So her joining the band did that allow to bring some newer elements into Sirenia that what that wasn't on the previous records. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, she actually has been with us since 2004, uh, singing as part of the choir. Yeah. And she even recorded um, one song on an EP. We did like a cover uh, version of Leonard Cohen song. First we take Manhattan and she did the lead vocals on that one. So we've known her for uh, a long time. And uh, but, you know, this is the Dim Dim Dollar was the first album where she was our lead singer. And um, you know she's a, a very experienced and musically educated singer. She's been studying music for five years, and she's been singing in the opera in Marseille for more than ten years. And uh, yeah, so she's uh, she's has very good experience. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. She knows what she's doing, and she can handle a, a lot of different styles too. You know, modern kind of style, the opera. And She's really good jazz singer. She can do pop. She can do, <laughs> she can do almost anything, you know. So we have a lot of um, possibilities, uh, you know. With uh, with her as a singer, she can bring a lot of new, different things into the band. And I thought she did an absolutely fabulous job on our previous album. And she just had like a, a few weeks to to learn the songs, and she came into the. Rest Studios and recorded everything. And it went really smooth, and uh, yeah, and, and it feels like we've been kind of busy ever since. So, uh, and the rest of this year is pretty much, pretty much full booked too with, with projects. So, um, yeah, it's busy times, but uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's fun for us to be able to tour tour a bit more and to be able to spend as much time with with music. Yeah. Now, um, I've always thought Sirenia had a lot of different elements in all your music, having a lot of symphonic elements and opera and all that. So do you, does Sirenia have a formula that they like to stick with in the recording process? Or is every record, you, do you like it to stand out in its own entity? I think we found our kind of our style, you know, with the first album. And um, with every album ever since, we've always been trying to renew ourselves. Uh, coming in with some new ideas, some new um, new elements, new sounds, and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, but on the other hand, we've also been kind of focused on um, not going too far away from uh, what we think is our musical concept, you know. Um, we still want to sound like Serenia, but we, we want to sound like a, a renewed or refreshed version of Serenia with with every album, without getting too far away from from our our thing and our sound. Absolutely. And um, 
Sirenia, this is like Dim Days of Dolores, like the eighth record, right? So you have a lot of records out. So with each record you put out, is it kind of harder to put like a set list together? Because people want to hear old stuff and new stuff. And Yeah, that's really hard, actually. Um, it's, it's, imp <laughs> it's impossible to, you know, we try to make everybody happy with picking a little bit from, from each album. But having like eight albums and working on our ninth now and having an EP also with five songs it's there's so many songs to choose from you know so it's it's kind of hard to to know you know when we play we see there are certain songs that we see the audience really love and and that you know is is kind of popular on YouTube and and social media and stuff so we try to pick uh, the most popular songs we have uh, and kind of have those like fixed on our set list and then we try to to variate a bit with with the rest of the songs on the set and we try to pick a little bit from each album but sometimes we have to skip an album or two it's it's just way too many songs at this point yeah <laughs> <laughs> and you, some of your songs are quite long too so <laughs> yeah exactly yeah yeah now um coming from norway you know uh, everybody thinks that norway when people hear metal in norway they jump to the conclusion of black metal but I don't consider you guys black metal at all. B so, but being that it is a real known metal spot, all of Scandinavia, is it kind of easier to start a band in Norway? Actually, I don't. I don't really think so. I mean, Norway it's uh, it's kind of a big country in a way, but uh, we're only five and a half million people spread all over. Oh. And so in, in the city I'm from, it's like. If you count all the suburbs, everything, you know, Stavanger is like maybe 300,000 um, people. And the metal scene there is, is um, yeah, it's, let's just say it's, it's kind of tiny, very small. And it's not that easy to find musicians to play with and, and that kind of stuff. I think it would be a lot easier in other countries where you have a lot more people, you know. But... Um, um there is a lot yeah first and foremost black metal bands of course from Norway and I remember the time when I started out in the um, early 90s also there was a couple of you know female fronted bands were getting popular you know um theater of tragedy came around in the early 90s and I started my band uh, first band Tristania yep. in this time and uh so that and there was a couple of other bands too, uh, Paradigma, I think, The Sins of Thy Beloved. Uh, there was a, uh, a bunch of like gothic metal bands from Stavanger in this period. But at this point, I think it's only Serenia that's still still playing, as far as I know. Yeah, and it's crazy. I mean, you you have all the Norwegian black metal bands, but it's cool that there's another band from Norway that like. You know, I, I think of you guys when I hear Norwegian black metal, and not the, not the guy uh, with the with the infamous smile, Vark. <laughs> but um, and uh, <coughs> just uh, one question I have is you kind of mentioned it before that uh, you were involved in other projects such as Tristana and so on and so forth. So depending on what project you're working with, do you have a different mind frame or songwriting methodology, or do you have like a blanket methodology behind it all? I try to to um, to variate a bit, you know. But naturally, you know, guitar is my my main instrument. So naturally, I I compose a lot of the stuff uh, with the guitar, and very very often uh, ID starts with the guitar riff, and I start building from there. Um, but sometimes I like to just you know try to force myself to do it in other ways. So I just put away the guitar and I sit down with the keyboard and I start. Um, uh, playing and, and, and trying to build from there or I sometimes try with the bass or with trying to find a cool drum beat and adding to that and just you know to try to uh, use different techniques and uh, it gives you a little bit more variation in the results if I would uh, you know write 100% of our songs on the guitar it might have been um, you know, there's a big possibility things can sound a little bit too similar here and there or whatever, oh. you know. Of course. No. So uh, before we go, I want to thank you so much for your time. Yeah, um, I just uh, I know that you have you, the whole year is completely booked, but we could be expecting new Sirenia uh, in the future. 
Absolutely, and that's uh, as soon as we get back home from this tour, we'll get into the studios and start recording. Um, and uh, the, the the date is yeah, it's set for twenty sixth of October. So that's when we aim to release the next album. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Morton. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, everybody, Morton of Cyrenia. Be sure to pick up their current record, Dim Days of Dolor, if you've been missing out for the past two years, and be on the lookout for new Cyrenia coming soon.